everybody who's watching this post live. All right, I appreciate you guys. We're gonna get this thing started. Make sure I have everything that I need. Hope you guys are doing good out there. Hope you had a good week. It's been an eventful week. We're doing all right. Let's see what we got going on here. How is everybody doing today? Why am I bleeding? I picked a scab. I'm a scab picker. What's going on, everybody? Welcome in. All right. What's going on, Daniel? How you doing? Jennigan, how are you doing? We got Philippines and New Mexico in the house. Mary's in the house. What's going on with you? M. Swan. Uh, Pete, what's happening with you? We got Ashley, or AKK Ashley. Uh, Subway sauce is much better. What? I don't know about that. Uh, Trust Jesus, Alan from Buffalo, New York. What's going on with you? David is here from the UK. Fake news better than you says what's up. Uh, for the people in UK, this is why I'm doing, I'm kind of alternating it so that you guys can get some action too. So I know it's much later in the day for you guys. So I want to do uh, 3 p.m. and then a 9 p.m. on Sundays. I'm going to try to stick to that, you know. Hi, Brent. Doing good. Enjoying the nice weather. Yeah, the, the weather's not bad here, um, Loretta. No rain, you know, a little cloudy, but it's all good. I'm actually packing my things right now, about to move to, um, where's that going? Transit, connect in a week, okay. What's going on, Deborah? What's going on, Leslie, Katie? Um, how are you doing? Heisenberg, new subscriber from France. How are you doing? France, man, people from France up in here. What is going on with everybody? Carol from Florida, how are you doing? Alexis, how are you? Thanks for the sub. All right. Shella says, hello, you are a beautiful and unique individual. Never give up on your dream. No matter how difficult the journey, keep striving for what you want in life. Thank you very much. Is that Sheila or Shella? Appreciate that. Um, G again says, it's 3 a.m. here in the Philippines now. Okay. See, we can't catch everybody. You know, I'm, I'm trying to catch everybody, you know, but it's impossible because we got people from all around the world, which is crazy. Uh, CW from New York. What's going on with you? Superman's grandma. Hi, Bryn. Uh, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to you, too. Superman's grandma. That's a funny name right there. Um, Raven Wolf. So will you ever move into an apartment ever again? Hi from Manchester, UK. Uh, yes. Yes, I will move into an apartment. Absolutely. We just got to get some things in order first, all right? Jewel says, hi, from Nottingham, UK. Brenda Young says, hi, from New Jersey. Well, for now. All right. Can't read that username. You can't read, let alone your mother language. All right. Thanks, buddy. Anna says, hello, from Copenhagen, Denmark. What's going on with you, Anna? Violet, afternoon. How are you doing? Deborah says, how does Jersey Mike's differ from Subway? Never had Jersey Mike's. Jersey Mike's differs from Subway in just about every way. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, I like it. I prefer their bread. Definitely their bread is, is better and I prefer their meats. And I also prefer the staff too. I mean, just, just all around. It's just a better vibe in Jersey Mike's. Uh, Melly, hi from Hanover, Germany. What's going on? Abby from Stratford, Connecticut. Hello, Bren. How are you doing? Saved by Grace. Uh, hello from Norway. We got Gary in the house. Hi from London, UK. Love your vids. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Where did I put my key? Up in here. I don't know what I did with my key. 
I'm just gonna drop the window because it's like toasty in here, man. And you know what? I'll just use this. There we go. Actually, the key's in the ignition, of course. There we go. A little bit of air up in here. Beautiful. All right. So let me change that. Perfect. How's that? Uh, Gary, what's going on with you? Stuart from Australia. Brandon, what's going on? Booger, that's a funny name. The Happy Cricket from Long Island, New York. We got uh, Soul Dad, what's going on with you? Bailey, have a good day. Like that smash button. <laughs> yeah, I've never said smash that like button as, as a uh, YouTuber, and I, I don't think I, I ever will. Smash that like button. I know I just said it there, but I'll never say it like... I don't know why people are so like obsessed with smashing the like button. Just go ahead and click it. You know what I mean? Just go ahead and click it. Give it a little taparooski. Can assure you I'm the only one watching from Dorset, England. That small, huh? Donna says, hello from Tyler, Texas. New watcher of your videos, really enjoy them. Appreciate that, Donna. Gary, have you visited the UK before? I've not been in England. I was born in Ireland, though, so close enough, right? Even though I, I think South is it South South Ireland, not really part of the UK, right? Um, or is it? I mean, we, we still use uh, euros over there, so I guess it is. Uh, let's see. Hello from Finland, Pamela. What's going on with you, Alan? Hello from Planet Saturn, from Cranston. Hey, listen, I'm, I'm not too far from Cranston. Um, Mary says, hi, from Southwest Florida. Love your videos. Appreciate that, Mary. Whatever happened to your jack uh, Jackery? Is it still working? Jackery is working. I just, I haven't like tested it yet with, um, with the cooker. But here's what's gonna happen though. My son and I are, I booked my son and I into um, a room for two nights. We're having a little mini vacay because it's uh, April vacation and I will test it out when we are there, right? I'll plug it into the wall. Maybe I'll try to cook some mac and cheese up or something like that. And I'm pretty sure that it's not the cooker. Everybody, I'd say 98% of the people watching are, are convinced that it's the Jackery, but I, I'm of the 2%. I think it's, it's the, uh, no, sorry, the other way around. I think it's the Jackery that's the problem, not the cooker because the cooker's quite new. We'll figure it out though, guys, we'll figure it out. Walter from Austria, what's going on with you? Lucy, don't you want mail, right? Does that go for gift cards too? Yeah, so Lucy, I, I, um, I'm holding off on the mail packages for right now. Um, and for gift cards, I appreciate the gesture. I appreciate the gesture. Not necessary at the moment though, uh, for me, all right? Um, Although I do appreciate that that gesture. We're just going to hold off on the mail for a little bit. Um, if you want to support the channel or something like that, you, you can do that through the Super Thanks or you could do like a, a, a Venmo or something like that. But we're not doing mail for right now. All right. Flower Girl, what's going on with you? Loretta says, don't forget to hit the like button. Everyone, it helps him. Yes, absolutely. Listen to Lo uh, Loretta. Violet, I haven't had Jersey Mike's either but do like a delicatessen sub or sandwich. Are they like that? No, I don't, th I don't think it's like a delicatessen really. You know, Jersey Mike's is kind of just in and out, sub shop, deliciousness. Speaking of which, the Jersey Mike's right there. Look at that. Timbo Sharp, I hope your day gets better. All right, Ashley, thank you. Bailey Peters, what's going on with you? Pamela, how are you? Marlene. How are you? Uh, uh, we got Puerto Rico in the house. What's going on, Mirna? Must Afa Game World. Brand, what's up, man? Solutions from Salutations from Turkey. Pipe down over there, will you? From Turkey. What is going on? Meryl, you're an inspiration for all of us. I appreciate that. Flower Girl sends me a whoa, those those are some cool looking stickers you got. Andrew, hi, this is Andrew from Toronto. Glad to catch you live, enjoyed your last video. Appreciate that. Yeah, we had a lot of fun with the last video. We had a lot of fun, got some great feedback from it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So 
So Ashley says, hi from New Jersey. Have to say Jersey with an accent. Absolutely. Kay from Kent, UK. What's going on? Uh, Raven, no, Southern Ireland is the Republic of Ireland. Nothing to do with the UK. Yeah, that's what I thought. I've been so, it's been so long, like, since I've been home, since I've been back in Ireland, like, my Irish knowledge isn't too sharp. I hate to admit. Shit, my American knowledge isn't too sharp either, now that I think about it. But I try to be a good person. You know what I mean? That's all that matters, right? Um, so, Chunky, what's going on with you? Caveman travels, why are you git? Don't know what that means. Michelle says hello from Iowa. Serenity, hi, brand new subscriber from Shrosfire, England. Loving, loving your vibe. Appreciate that. Rick and Laura say pop. Just did. Chris Wolf, hello, how are you? We got some people in here from Massachusetts as well. What's going on? I'm gonna go ahead and fire that engine up real quick because I gotta charge the phone. Charge this puppy. Yeah, so last week was pretty good. It wasn't very busy with, with gig though. The gig apps were kind of slow. You know? We started the week off with the eclipse and I don't know, I think people are just Maybe it's because the weather's starting to get a little sunnier. People are going out more than they are ordering in. That could have something to do with it. Maybe when people are fed up with that, maybe they'll start ordering food again. I don't know. But we're going to find out. All right, Nick, what's going on with you from Germany? We got Shepo. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, guys. Thank you, Shepo. MX Beast. What's going on? Jody, prayers for you. I can't imagine living in my car. A lot of people can't imagine living in their car, but I appreciate the prayers. Fartil Allen Allen OG Allen. That's one hell of a username. Hello from Denmark. Uh, Dennis says, love Jersey Mike's. Hello from Spring Hill, Louisiana. Pamela says, uh, she's from Mass. Violet, forgot to say that I'm from New, what is that? N-E, New England? Wow, shit, well not New England, Ohio. Okay, what's any? All right, must have game world. Uh, do you have any advice living in, do you have advice live in the car? Maybe I will buy SUV for living it. Okay, uh, check out my videos, you know what I mean? That would be a long winded answer right there. But my advice, just if I was to give you a small tidbit of advice would be to do your research. Know your area, that means know the climate, know the, you know, Know the crime rate, know everything, right? Just know as much, like get as much information of your surroundings as possible and do your research, okay? And also just do, do a few trial runs. Like you don't have to go all the way out. You can still be living in, in, in your apartment or your house and, and you, can, you can car camp. Go out car camping for a little bit. See if you like it. See, like give it two or three days even. You might find out that you don't like it. Just like in the first three nights, you're like, hell no, this isn't for me at all. Because I knew that like the first night I did it, I, I, I was into it. Even though I was inexperienced, I knew that it was something that I could work with. Something that, that I would be willing to try. So give it a shot. All right, you never know till you try. Brand, keep moving forward. Gary from Newark, Delaware. Thank you, Gary. I appreciate that. Super thanks. Lourdes is in the house. Appreciate that. Hi, Brand. Nice to see you live. Happy Sunday to you. Wishing you all the best. I'm going to give you a like on that. Thank you so much, Lourdes. Appreciate that. Um, so, M. Swan, greetings from Michigan. What's going on? Alan, you are close? Wow. I work at California. <laughs> California taco shop on Berkeley. Which one is that? Is that the is that in Cranston? The few California taco. The closest one to me would be Johnston. Hello from Orlando. What's going on with you, Spencer? Have you ever seen Happy Feet? Um, I think so. When my son was like really small, we've seen a lot of movies. Uh, when, when he was small, like all those Pixar movies. Happy Feet. That's the penguin, right? 
Um, hello, ich komme aus Duschenland und du bist du du da die meisten Leute nicht aus den USA kommen? Don't know what language that is, but I tried. Johnny, hello from Wisconsin. If you need cheese curds, my door is open. Thanks, Johnny. Appreciate that. Jesus is Lord. Blink twice if you need help. All right, I will. Uh, Marley says, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good, you know. I, I can't really complain, you know. Like, like there's nothing to complain. There's just nothing to complain about, you know. There's really nothing to complain about at this moment. Carrot. Um, so... Mm -mm 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 -mm. Dolores, greetings from Indianapolis, Indiana. Appreciate that, Dolores. Greetings to you too. Fartil Allen, 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 OG Allen says hello from Denmark. I think I already, I think I already called that name out. Pope says time to find another job. Can't keep living like that. Whatever you say, buddy. Pamela, I won't ask how old you are. <laughs> appreciate that appreciate that Ethan says hello it's my first time seeing your live stream and I subscribe appreciate that Ethan Ceci hello from San Antonio Texas how are you doing you guys got a good vision a good uh, path with the uh, eclipse but, uh, I'm sure of it or maybe you didn't Texas is huge so, Jessica Abri, hi, what's going on? Annette, hello from New Hampshire, just came across your channel recently and enjoy watching. Hope you're having an awesome weekend. I uh, sure I am doing my best with my weekend. I appreciate that. Super chat from Marley Fritzen, appreciate that. Happy birthday. Whose birthday is it? My birthday was back in March. Let me give you a heart, though. I appreciate you, Marley. They're coming for me. They're coming for me. Guys, oh, I don't know what happened there, but I got disconnected. <clears throat> give me a thumbs up if you can still see me. I'm trying to catch up with these comments. Santiago, Pope, what's going on? Join a gym, showers. Yes, that's right. A a Akuma, if you blink, you're gay. That's real mature, bud. Uh, Land of the Free, Aloha from Moi, Hawaii. Appreciate that. Alif Islam, love from Bangladesh. Sandy, San Diego Ruiz from Colombia. What's going on with you? I'm going to swing it on down, all right? Do, 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 Pamela, what's going on with you? Alif, love from, uh, I already said hi to you. Karen Batson, hi. Any must-have cooking supplies that you use on a regular basis? I just ordered the mini rice cooker after seeing it in your videos. Thanks for all you do. I mean, you could go with those little propane burners. You could get a whole bunch of stuff at Walmart. You know what I mean? But all I have is the rice cooker. And until I get this jackery situation fixed, I, uh, I won't be able to use it, right? So... M. Kazi, love from per Portugal. What's going on? Alexis, I sub. Appreciate that. Alan, you are close. Wow, I work at California. Yeah, man, I already read these, man. Okay, so greetings from Croatia. What's going on, Matt? Hi, Brand from South Korea. Seoul, Korea. How are you, my friend? My one advice is from the money you are making, invest 30% of your cash to dividend stocks. Coca-Cola will pay you $4 dividends every year. Interesting. Kind of like a foreign language to me uh, when it comes to stocks, though. I, I don't know anything about stocks, really. I'm kind of just grinding it out the way I see fit for now. Do you know what I'm saying? I've got several things cooking right now, several things. So um, financially, things are looking good. Um, Andy, hope you are having a wonderful day. Yes, thank you. You too. Alif, oh, hi. Lisa, greetings from a sunny and warm Winnipeg, Canada. Duo, have you done your lessons today? My lessons? I don't know what lessons you're talking about. Ash the Flash, love your hat. Thank you. It's just a, it's just a, this hat's beat to shit. Look at this hat. But it's still good. It does the trick. 
my hat wear changes throughout the seasons. You know what I'm saying? You can tell the weather's getting warm when I'm wearing this hat. Otherwise, it's 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 this. This is when you know the weather's cold, right? Sorry, I sent it twice. That's all good. Yara, hola, brand greetings from Texas. Ash the Flash, love that hat. Okay, where am I going? Hello from South Africa. We appreciate and love you, man. Thank you so much. Curbs. What's going on with you? Good for you, buddy. Have fun. Pope, wh why don't you get a full-time job? Tr a truck driver would suit you. I've been asked that a few times, actually. My brother-in-law is a truck driver over in the UK. Um, um, I don't really want a job, to be honest with you. I'm doing pretty well. Things are looking good for me. You know, I've got, I've got several streams coming in right now, so things are looking up. I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing, doing what I enjoy, and see how that works. But I have heard about truck driving. Truck driving, they, they get a lot of pay. I know the pay is good. But it would have to be a local truck driving job if, if I did consider it. Because if I'm doing, like, driving across the country, I, I would be away from my son, and that's not what I want. You know, I like to be able to just go pick up my son whenever, you know. So I can go pick up my son at, after I'm done with this live if I want. Me and my son are going out for a few days, a little mini vacation. I like that he's close by. I can bring him to school, pick him up from school, you know. So I like the flexibility that I have right now, right? A lot of people ask me about jobs and stuff like that. You know, get a job, this, that, and the other. When, when you find a way to make a living doing something that you enjoy, you know, the getting a real job becomes less and less appealing. Do you know what I mean? So if all else fails, there's tons of places that I could, I could work. Sure, I could. Would I be as happy though? Nope. I'm happy doing what I'm doing. And I'm making money doing it. So keep the job comments coming. It's going in one ear and out the other. All right. Matteo. Love you as a friend. Thanks, Matteo. Mika says, hi, can you please play my favorite song? It's my birthday. It's called Four Big Guys. I don't know what you want me to say to that. Susan, what's the temperature? It's 80 degrees here. It's 59 degrees here. Maddie, why are you so fine? Drunk emoji. Are you drunk? You sound drunk. Carolyn, hi from Colorado. I'm going to start having fun with these comments. Am Kazi, love from Portugal. What's going on with you? Pamela's eating Cheez-Its. This is, this is classified information. Shout out, please, 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 please. Stop begging. Alif, what's going on? Rachel, hello from Sacramento. What happened to your back window? Oh, back here? Nothing happened to it. It's just, that's just the covering. There's no need for me to take that off. Do you know what I mean? It just stays on. You know what I mean? It's just a covering. Nothing's wrong. Everything's fine. It's for the privacy, you know? Hello from Germany. What's going on? DD, glad to see you online today. I'm glad to see you online today. Mr. Zuzu, hi. Charlie at school, saying hi from Kansas. Alexander, hello from Ukraine. Okay, I want to give a big shout out to Trust Jesus out here. All right, big shout out. Super chat. Hello from Russia, Mr. Alex. And Turkey, uh, hello from Turkey, Niet. Pregan, hello, how are you? The best one says, hi, daddy. How are you, son? Mr. Zuzu, hi. Grandy says, hello, sir. Hi from rainy South California. Lady D. Lynn. I've always wanted to go to California. See what that's like out there, sorry. I'll be, I'll be spitting stuff at you guys. Ivy Dixon. Hi from 7 a.m. Monday. 
in New Zealand. Australians are called Aussies. What do you New Zealanders call yourselves? I forget. Kiwis. You guys call yourself Kiwis. It's my favorite fruit. For that reason, I'd probably prefer to be from New Zealand. Sorry, all my Aussies out there. Um, Naomi from Florida, how are you doing? What is your zodiac sign? It's Pisces, Deonta. Hi, from 7 a.m. Monday in New, in New Zealand. I already read that when I just found out about your birthday yesterday. Oh, you did? Thanks, Marley. I appreciate that. Laddie Lynn, Ad Bren, you are so organized. Um, I'm losing my comments. Were you in the military? I was not in the military. But um, I did learn how to roll. I forget what the book was. It was, I learned how to roll from a book called um, The Magic Art of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. I keep forgetting the name, the title of it. But she has a very militant way of folding herself. I think her dad was in the military or something like that. And, and they, they fold their clothes like really tight so that they can fit more in their bag. And I think it's a great way to fold. If I was in the military, I'd probably step on a landmine within, within three days. I'd kill myself. Because I'm, I'm too goofy and clumsy. Uh, Bryn, thanks for your connect. I watched to help me overcome my fears. I'm moving into my van in a week and your, your honest accounts of making things work, where to park at night are comforting. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome, Mrs. Swan. Lots of people giving thumbs up. I'm guessing that's to establish that we've been reconnected. I lost the signal for a second. Hi, can you say ro hi, Rosie? Hi, Rosie. Trust Jesus is in the house. Seeing your two phones. Uh-oh. Pardon me, guys. I lost my place. Copras, greetings from Indonesia. If I'm reading out of place, guys, I apologize. I'm trying to talk to 157 folks at once is, is challenging. Especially when you're doing it on your phone. Okay, let me just go back up here. I'll go back. I hope you guys are all doing well. All right, I think I found my place. Hi, Bren. In the Midwest. Stay strong, friend. Thanks, Diane. Dr. Derek says, hi, Bren, from Maryland. Have a great week. And Pamela says, Bren, people don't get that it is okay to want to live in your car, especially to save money. Yeah, people don't. There's a lot of people who don't get it. But you know what? I kind of have to, you know, accept that. You know, that like there's just people who just will not understand it. For the life of them, they won't understand it. They won't understand my lifestyle at all. And I kind of just, as this channel grows, I'm, I'm learning to accept that, you know, people will tell you how you should be living and what kind of job you should be working. And it's just, it is what it is. You know, people are going to say what they want. I, I can't stop it, but I don't have to listen. That's the thing. And I, I don't let anybody tell me how I should be living or where I should be working. That, that would just be silly to me. You know what I mean? I'm trying to achieve my own goals out here. You know, thank you very much. Brand, people don't, um, okay, sorry. Uh, big love from Turkey. Happy belated birthday. Thank you very much, Daniel. Be Becky Rattledge. Um, I'm good, thank you. It's my birthday, can you play? Okay, uh, do, 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 do you follow sports, New England Patriots? I don't. Zara says hi. Lint the human. Hey, Bren, any idea why my chat isn't showing up in streams? Nothing is showing up. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I just read that comment. I hope that helps. Bobby Little says, windy and cold in Scotland. Sounds like Ireland weather to me. 
Flower Girl iCard from Southern California. Hello, how are you? The heave out. Do you have a plan B as far as if you get into a car accident or major repair needed? Well, if I get into a minor car accident, yes. I mean, I would have some money in the bank, a little, little bit that would get me through a few days if I needed. Um, get it, get into a motel room, get my car into the shop, get on the phone to the insurance company, hope for the best, you know? And if it's a serious situation, you know, I'm just gonna leave that up to God because um, I don't know what's gonna happen, right? No point in thinking about that right now, you know what I mean? But I do have a bit of a plan. If if the, if, if I need to put the car into the shop, I would, I, like I have a couple of motels that, that I would go to. Uh, greeting from the Lane of Quaker. Thank you, Tom. Thank you so much. How do you keep your food cold? I don't. I, I don't keep my food cold, really. That's why I, I try to eat like one meal a day and I'll have snacks, right? Like a snack, like a banana or apple or orange or some nuts right here or almonds, whatever you call them. You know, those are items that don't really, they don't really need to be refrigerated. You know what I'm saying? They can just, they'll last a few days on me. You know what I mean? So these carrots have been lasting me a couple days. Bren, you're a mindful MFer. Just joking around, friend. Thanks, hey, hey, Dukin. Bobby Little, if you're happy, what you're doing, nothing wrong with that, mate. Exactly. Thanks, Bobby. Bobby gets it. You do you, brother, as long as you are happy. That's what ultimately matters. And Daniel gets it. Look at all these people getting it. M. Ewing. Your son is a lucky young man. Dads could learn a lot from you. I appreciate that. My son and I are pretty close. And um, my son was actually one of my first subscribers as well. So, I love my son. So, who else? Lone Traveler says, you have a real job. You've just not chosen traditional employment, allowing for flexibility. That's true. You know what I mean? And I've been doing this. I've been thinking about making a video about this to kind of clear the air because I've never really worked a traditional nine to five, right? I've been in the service, I worked the service industry before I got into the gig economy, I worked in the service industry. I was a waiter and I was a good waiter. I had regulars who would come in to see me and I would make good tips because I was personable with my, 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 um, my uh, customers, right? And I feel like those same skills as, that I used as a waiter are, have kind of, they've come over into my content creation because I like to engage with people, you know what I mean? And entertain people and provide for people, like providing content. So I feel like everything that I've done up to this point has kind of prepared me for what I'm doing now. But I just didn't like clocking in, clocking out, didn't like working underneath people. You know, I bumped heads with a few managers and managers making my schedule and just not having that flexibility is something I really didn't care for, you know? Got into the gig economy, then I, I discovered flexibility, worked, started working in the entertainment company, you know, started doing some DJ work, working for myself and whatnot. And, and here I am doing YouTube, you know, trying to find more and more ways to kind of just create my own living. Right. And, and that's just it. Nothing against people who like to work a nine to five. All respect to you. Employed people, self-employed people, everybody. We're all in the rat race. You know, we, we just, we, we go after our cheese differently. You know what I mean? There's many paths to the cheese. Um, so... Have you thought about doing personal finance on your channel? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Why, like, because I can barely figure out my own finances. I am not qualified. I mean, I'm qualified to speak about my own situation, right? Uh, you know, but not to, not to advise anybody. I, I don't have any experience in personal finance. And, and to be quite honest with you, I have not been good with money. My, most of my life. 
I've not been good with money. I've been ra rather irresponsible with my money. And a lot of that has to do with, you know, the fact that I was a drunk for so long, you know what I mean? And um, I'm kind of just learning how to pull my life together now at this point, you know? So I'm, I'm late to the party. It is what it is. If you have it all figured out, good for you. I don't have it all figured out. I don't have money all figured out. You know, and, and that's just where I'm at in my life. You know, like I said before, I try to be a good person. I'm trying to just do better. And, and, and that's, that's what counts right now. You know, all the other things I will figure out. And I'm working at it. Coming up on 10 months sobriety, that is a huge achievement to me. It may not be a lot to anyone else, but never mind everyone else. It's a big deal to me. There's personal things that I'm achieving in my life that they're just, they mean so much more to me than just like getting a job or, or living in an apartment, living in a house. The fact that I'm sober today is huge for me. So like there's small successes in my life. Success is different for everybody. Do you only do food delivery or do you also do Uber ride? I used to do ride share. So Rideshare is the, is, the, is the job that got me out of the traditional job, right? So I started doing Lyft first. I did Lyft for a year and that was when Lyft was popping off. I was making like $300 a day and that was back in 2018 or something like that. I was making good money and I did Lyft for a year exclusively. I did other things as well. I still worked for the entertainment company and you know, I did some, some private gigs and whatnot in between. I always try to get other things going, but I did Lyft exclusively for a year. Then I jumped on with Uber. So then I had Uber and Lyft. And then during the pandemic in, in 2020, that's when I started doing Uber Eats. And that was when I first started doing delivery. And it was also around that time I started up with DoorDash. So, you know, I had a whole bunch of options going on at that point, you know, and then much later on, like a year after I, I lived in my car, I had got on with Grubhub and everything. So I've got, I've actually got four different gig apps that I can work from. Uber Eats, Grubhub, DoorDash, and GoPuff. I just haven't done any GoPuff orders because GoPuff is, um, it's stationed in Providence. You have to work from a warehouse. So you have to go into the warehouse and you have to stay around that warehouse. So you're working, it's like a centralized location. So I, I haven't really bothered to, to try it out yet, but it's an option for me. I have options going on right now. I have more options financially in my life going right now than I've ever had. And um, that's, that is a blessing. And I worked for it and I, I searched for it and I found it. All right. All right. Let's keep going downtown. How's the healthy snacking going? It's going pretty well, actually. Uh, Cindy. See that? Susan, you're a role model for the trolls. Thanks, Susan. I feel you're doing a great job and you're on the right track. Thanks, Andy. Kyle, what's going on from New Jersey? Dana, I'm a retired social worker and I work for DoorDash and I enjoy it and great extra income. Glad you, you have that going for yourself, uh, Dina. All right, so I'm, I've lost my place. I'm doing my best. Talk amongst yourselves here for a second. Somebody was saying, oh yeah, so the personal finance. Um, get the truck driver job. Make videos about your cross country trip. Build your YouTube channel and monetize your channel. Spend that money with your son. Well, that's what I intend to do. You know what I mean? The bulk of my earnings go, goes towards my son. You know, we're going out for a couple of nights here and I can't wait. And I'm extra happy because I have more money to do it. Um, but the truck driver thing, that's not on my radar. And the channel already is monetized. All right, let's move it on down to um, Ashley, you're next sitting in my car at the laundromat eating lunch. Thanks for keeping us company. You're welcome, Ashley. x -Pud, something is definitely wrong when you live out of your car. Well, there's another person. I mean, to you, something is wrong to you. It's not wrong to me. You know what I mean? So 
that's that's your opinion. You really don't know anything about my life, clearly. You haven't watched my channel, you know? You're just a person on here talking out of your ass. You know what I mean? So keep it up. Um, Flaka says, I love your personality. Appreciate that, Flaka. Trust Jesus. Important. Someone messaged me with your name and photo and said that your toothbrush smiles at your at you every morning. Block that. Spam. Yeah, block that shit. That's not me. What kind of a weirdo says says that? Your, my, my toothbrush smiles at me in the morning? Is he high? Has he been smoking crack? Yuki says, hi from India. What's going on? Copra's greetings from Indonesia. Andrew, Bay Area here, man. Do you follow sports? Nope, I don't. Blair says, you're weird. Thanks, Blair. Uh, Gracery says, hi from Africa. We've got Piano Boy. How are you doing? Pamela's laughing for some reason. Ravi Sharma. Hey, Bren. Ravi from India. How are you? I'm doing good. Hello, my good sir. Hi from your mom's house. She's the best. All right, so here's what we're going to do with this little punk-ass son of a bitch right here. Sorry, guys. We're going to go ahead and just, uh, yeah, he's gone. That person's gone for good. You know what I mean? It's funny how brave people are behind a camera, isn't it? Say that to my face. I'd love that. I would absolutely love that. I have a huge hand. I'd love to get that right across your cheeks. Anyways, what are you going to do? Claudia! How are you doing? Oh, I think I have a moderator in here. There's somebody like retracting these comments. Do I have a moderator? Because I went to block that person and somebody retracted it. Oh, maybe they retracted their own comments because they're a pussy. Maybe that's what happened. Okay. Hi from Britain. Howie. How you doing, buddy? Okay, see, th there it goes again. You got people coming in saying some foul stuff, and then they delete their messages. Guys, if you're going to troll, at least have a pair of balls, okay? At least have a pair of balls. Come on back. Come on back in. Love it. You ever been to Linwood, California? Cafe Pizza, best pizza in Brockton. I have not, but there's some good eats out there in Brockton. There's a few Jamaican uh, joints. Um, I forget the name of the place. I, I ate at a Jamaican spot in Brockton like like a month ago, and I forget the name of the place. Some good spots out there. Okay, so Enjorlo Doka. How are you doing? Norma, you ever eat from... Um, hi from you, Uzbekistan. What's going on? Lady Lynn says, I'm 28 years sober. You can do it. That is, that is amazing. Thank you so much for the confidence. Edward, what up from Boston? What's going on with you? Mika says flag or flag. I don't know what the hell that, I mean, I think that means Israel or Pakistan or Palestine. Don't know. I'm gonna pull the ignorance card on that one. I, I, I just, I don't know enough about it. I really don't. Okay, so Nelly says, I always wanted to go on holiday to the US, but I can't even drive a car. You should learn how to drive a car. Callie says, Mr. Ed. Tom says, make, sh make some friends that you can trust in California. Okay. New to your channel, I'm in the Midwest. Hot 87 degrees today. Oh, I'm glad it's not 87 here. 60 degrees is beautiful. Corpus Carpies. What the maximum you can get in a day with Uber or delivery in America? Honestly, I strive for a minimum of 150. 
I mean, in my market, my maximum, maybe like 220, 250, to be honest with you. And it's not been busy lately, so you, you'll be struggling to hit 150 these days. I, I don't know what's going on. You got to get other things going in your life, other sources, other sources of, of cheddar, right? So, hi, Brand. Is it possible to make video more frequently? I try to do like a video a week, um, and those vlogs are quite, they're heavily edited, and it takes me, like, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you, that last video that I did took me four days to complete. One day of filming, two days of editing, and two nights of uploading, all right? So, yeah, it, it, it was crazy. So, I can always try. Um, boom, 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 boom. We have a good public uh, transportation system in LA. That is good to know. Karen says, Norman, is that on the east side? I'm here. I'm on the east side. Uh, you been to uh, Cape Code, Poza? Nope, haven't been there. Tom S. says, you, you're making a difference. Thanks, Tom. Hello, do 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 Watching from the Dominican Republic. Thank you. All right, Becky says, I made it. Yes, you did. Karen, they have frozen pizzas now in the supermarket. <laughs> Thanks for telling me that. I think they've always had frozen pizzas in the supermarket, no? Enirolo Doko says, is it cold there or hot? It's neither. Karen says, bout and eight. Dr. Derek, everyone smash that like button. Shonda says, hi, Bren. How are you, Shonda? It's good to see you. Tanya, much love to you as well. Norman, only the East Coast. All right. Lonely says, hey, man, found your channel a few days ago. Love all your videos. Keep it up, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hello, is the kid friendly? I'm 14, but I don't like streams with a lot of cursing. Uh, I'll try not to curse, Finn. I'll try not to curse, buddy. But no, I, I don't typically curse. Uh, sometimes, if, if these if these ign if these ignorant folks online if they if they if they bother me, like I, I might curse. But I'll try not to. How about that? Okay, I'll try not to. It's not like that they will help you pay for a place, so how you live your life is no one's business. They preach, preach, Flocka. Uh, Tanya says, do you attend meetings? No, I don't. I used to. I used to back in the day, but AA meetings are, believe it or not, a trigger for me. You know, just think about that for a second, all right? I'm an alcoholic. And I'm going to go and sit in a basement with other alcoholics for an hour every day or a few times a week talking about my drinking history. You know, when I hear someone else talking about their drinking charades, it makes me want to go to a bar. And uh, I would rather hit the hiking trail or go for a run in the gym or something like that. That helps me navigate away from my drinking thoughts, you know, as opposed to sitting down and talking about my drinking. I mean, it's good for me to speak to another alcoholic and relate on a certain level. Like I can call or text, like I have a few people who I've met in AA or people that I've met in the sober community who I can speak to briefly. But like, I wouldn't sit in a room for an hour with like other people that I don't know talking about it. Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, to each their own, right? That there's no one way to recover. You know, there's no one way to recover, everyone's gonna recover in their own way, in their own time. And um, that's what I'm finding in, in, in my life. I'm the longest I've ever been sober since I started back in 2019. So I must be doing something right at this point. I think what really changed the game for me to step away from addiction is just admitting that I needed help. Uh, like uh, talking to God and letting God into my life and offering it up to God, right? Because I have no control over that, so. I've accepted his will over mine, and uh, so far so good. All right, we still we're still rocking that red band. All right, boom. 
do 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 Put your P.O. box on your next video. I try to send, I tried to do super chat, but can't remember the password. That's okay. Um, P.O. box is, um, one of my videos has the P.O. box. If it's something that you must, if, if it's something that you really want to do, you know, you can definitely check out one of, my, of the mail opening videos and, and you'll see that there. Um, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's just the larger packages that, that I'm trying not to receive. Although they're so thoughtful and kind, you know what I mean? As a minimalist, I, I just try not to receive too many um, physical items, like clothes or books and things of that nature. I've got plenty of that right now. I've, I've got some reading to do. I've got some good reading to do because, because of you awesome people out there send me stuff. Um, Georgia Nixon says, Wagwan. I'm guessing you're from Jamaica. Senior Two Phone says, just subscribed to um, your channel uh, and just you being open and honest with your life is so cool. You seem like a, you're a loving dad. Appreciate that, Senior Two Phones. Uh, Norman, good day, nice today. It's like the 80s. It's hot where you guys are, huh? If you have a question, just shoot. Hi, Bren. Is it cold out there or is it hot? Is that a stupid? No, there's no stupid questions. Man, that's not a stupid question. No, it's not. It's, it's nice and chill out here. You're doing great. Your subs are up to over 20,000. You must be doing something right. Keep doing, uh, keep doing you and um, giving your son the support he needs at this age. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Haley says, are you reading this now? I'm doing my best to read it now. I was born in Brockton, not too far from here. Cindy Conway, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, she's singing a song. All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate that, Cindy. <laughs> uh, Karen says, man, it's already hot there. It's getting warm out now, but it's perfect temperature. Moonchild. It is what it is. I live in San Francisco Bay Area and have an alley out back. One lady lives in her car. She's a pit, uh, she's a pit bull eyed of woman. All righty. Bay Area, I'd like to get out there. Uh, North Korea is in the house, what's going on? Karen, my sister was too, I came here at two, appreciate that. Millie says, at Liddy Lynn, that sounds good. I thought without a driver's license, you're lost. Oh, it's nice you guys are talking to each other in here. You inspired me to do intermittent fasting. I lost eight pounds in two weeks and feel so much better. Yeah, intermittent fasting is, is great. And it's also so easy to keep track of. Man. It's very simple. Just don't eat for a certain amount of time. That's it. Uh, Norman, Karen, you've been to, no, I haven't been to that cafe. Cindy, if you keep the carrots in water, they last longer, especially the baby ones. Okay, good to know, actually. Good to know. Get like a little mason jar or something like that. Uh, Alan Harvey, when I watch your channel, I like to pet my microwave while smiling. Okay, there's definitely some drug users in the chat, guys. This guy's petting his his microwave. All right, all righty. All right, we're gonna we're gonna scroll down to um, scroll down a bit. Uh, do you have any plans to travel? Yes, but not until my son's older. Um, boom, boom, dude, learn how to day trade and change your life. Sounds good, man. Um, again, I don't really know anything about day trading. You know, I'm kind of just creating content and, you know, I'm doing pretty well. I'm doing pretty well. Um, old man on yap session. Thanks, Sammy. Appreciate that. Loki says, Trinia, hi, what do you want to be friends on? Um... Don't know what you mean by that. Planet Earth? Karen, hey, I just subscribed to your channel. Appreciate that. Diane, sun not shining in the U.S. Sometimes I think that he is disappearing in northern countries, also in the Netherlands. Uh, Sammy says, what is he reading? Reading comments, Sammy. Reading comments. Um, okay, so I don't know we can get phone numbers. Hmm. Aldi, and to Max Win. Mm -mm. I'm actually gonna cruise through and I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start reading comments that I would like to read. If I were a shoe, I'd be the pair for you. 
Thank you. Appreciate that. Donnie, shiny happy people. Shiny happy people holding hands. Sammy Ula, what is he reading? Sammy, you're in a live chat room right now, so there's comments coming in, you know? So I'm, I'm reading comments. That's what that is. There's 203 people in here, and I'm reading their comments, all right? You seem a little confused there, buddy. Um, how old are you? And I am not a creep. Okay, Trinia, I am... Tw I forgot how old I was for a second. I'm 39. Okay, Ashton Grimes says, being that Korea. Tranquility Tunes. I'm watching from South Africa. Uh, it's it's night here, almost 10, 10 o'clock p.m. while it's daylight there. Nice. Thanks for tuning in. Natty says, hello from Russia. Wish you all the best. All right. So, Sammy, I'm going to kick you out, buddy. All right. There we go. So, Sammy's gone. I just kicked his ass out of here. Who's next? You're a great positive influence, my man. Thank you, M.N. Do, 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 do. do you know what to even seen the other account? And it's so no yes, what can however. Do you even have a new even? What the, like what, what, hold on. What kind of drug is it that you're using? I'd like to know. Is it, are, is, are you smoking it? Are you snorting it? Are you, are, are you throwing it in, in, in? Oh, okay. It's heroin. Okay, gotcha. I thought heroin, heroin put you out. You know what I mean? I thought you were on a hallucinogen or something like that. It's just some people are saying very weird things to me right now, and, and, and it's just like, wow, man. I don't know what it is. My B-Day is in August 19th. That's awesome. How's your sleep after living in your car for that long? Do you feel well rested? Then you wake up, or are you in constant kind of I lost my place. Constant kind of stressful state because you're out in public. No, I sleep very well. I sleep so well. In fact, I sleep so well in my car that I feel out of place when I go to a house or a hotel or something like that. I, I get I get into a bed and I'm like moving around and I'm like, this isn't normal, you know? You You adapt, your body adapts to these things, you know? Like, a lot of you ask questions, how could you do this and how could you do that? You have to keep in mind, I've been doing this for over two years. I've been living in a car for over two years, guys. I have adapted. I have acclimated to a lot of things that you you just can't understand it, and that's okay. But just try to be mindful of the fact that, you know, it's different for me because I live it. And it's, it's, it's hard for you to understand because you don't live it. All right. Ashton Grimes, how are you doing? Goodbye. Um, so, Trinia, oh, you are older than me. Yes, I am, apparently. Hey, Brand, where do you uh, currently get your t-shirts from? Uh, Michael's. Michael's Arts and Crafts Store. They're called Bella Canvas t-shirts. They're really cool. I like them. Steven, uh, Steven's vids, are your parents bakers because you're a cutie pie? That's a good one. Uh, Chris, hello from Shipshwana in Amish country. Hold on a second. Are you an Amish person on a phone right now? On a piece of electrical equipment? Pardon me if that sounds ignorant. I thought Amish folks didn't do this type of thing. So good morning, Brand from Australia. And good morning to you. Yes, just by a little bit. Ah, Sammy, he was reading from up top. He st strolled down. Austin is in a spaceship. I don't know who Joe Coe is. He sets his shirts from Michaels. Thank you for answering that. Mitchell says hi. New subscriber from Auburn, New York. Do you have any rooms for rent in that car? Nope. Not unless you're an action figure. I could squeeze you in that way. 
All right, Mitchell Polly says, hi, 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 Chad. What is your entertainment company all about? It's not my company, it's my friend's company. And um, he, it's called Good Thomas Entertainment. And he does, um, he does things like musical bingo and trivia inside of different restaurants and stuff like that. It's a really cool company. I've been with him for eight years. Uh, but I did, I did have my own little entertainment company as well. Um, but it was more kind of freelance and few and far between. I would have gigs, you know, like corporate events or school dances or something like that. You know, it wasn't like a, it wasn't like a functioning business to where I was, I was earning weekly income. It was just like maybe twice or three times a month I would get a gig, you know. Reagan, what's going on with you? Just me says, just block the offsets. Yeah, I'm doing my best here. I'm doing my best. Beautiful day in Indiana today. That's nice. People are talking to each other. They sure are. You are extremely handsome. Thank you so much, Cucamonga. Cucamonga. Thank you. Um, I know, so what shall we do? When are you going to do a bulk? Don't know. Nope, not interested in a bulk. Pizio says, ciao. Mitchell Polly, April 1. Um, boom, 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 boom. Henry, Mr. Bean looking a good one. Uh, 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 uh. Greetings from Detroit. What's going on with you, Matthew? Loki, God knows. Hey, from the UK, do you plan to move to a van in the future? Yeah, I thought about it. Grady's, hi, Brand. Did you miss full Irish breakfast? Oh, geez, do I miss a full Irish breakfast or what? A fry up? Absolutely. Some sausages, beans, rashers, bit of eggs, bit of brown bread. Yeah, I do. I do. I do miss Irish breakfast. They call them fry ups. Do you have any issues with insomnia after initially quitting alcohol? Uh, I had a lot of issues after I uh, quit alcohol. A lot of rage. Uh, I was very angry when I quit a a a bleh, when I quit alcohol. I was very angry. I was restless. Uh, yeah, I did have a few sleepless nights in the beginning, like the first couple weeks. I'd say the first two weeks. Um, and just a lot of discomfort. A lot of discomfort. But after two weeks of, you know, abstaining from alcohol, my body started to feel better, but I still had so much work to do in my mind. And I would say after about 30 days, that's when my mind kind of followed suit and said, all right, you're on to something here. Let's do this sober thing. But still, I'd say even further than that, going up to three months is when I started to feel a lot stronger, like the 90 day mark. I started to feel like, you know, I can do this. And after six months, here I am, here I am at uh, past nine months, uh, man, we're pushing a year in two months, and uh, it's it's good. It just takes time. You got to get through the discomfort, you know. You know what I'm saying? The hardest thing about alcoholism is being sober. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's crazy. Uh, da -da -da. Hello, Chris. I'm your number one fan. Who's Chris? Parth. What's going on with you? Yo, Chris. No, I'm not Amish. I just live here. Oh, okay, Chris. Now that makes sense. It's your girl, Bella, says, are you gay? Nope, I'm not gay. I like it, the ladies. Pamela says, Becky Raver, seriously right. Tomas says, hi from Poland. That duck on a unicycle. What's your favorite sandwich? I like a roast beef with jalapenos and mustard and onions on white bread. Uh, do, 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 I don't know how to get it then. Oh, I think you guys are speaking to each other. I will be back. I will check your channel. Thank you so much. Andy, what's going on with you? Would you trade your Subi for anything else? Um, yeah. I just don't know what. I just don't know what yet, you know? I don't know what. I lived in my car for eight months, back in my house for one month, and it was cool being back in my bed, but I'm so ready to get back in the car again. Show my dog Grover. Yeah, give it a shot. Go back out there and go where your heart tells you to go, my man. All right. Jade, when do you think you will be ready to get your place? 
Honestly, if things keep going the way they're going, like if the channel keeps growing and I keep succeeding this year, that's what I'll say this year. But I have to get, you know, to work. Like right after this live, I'm slapping on the apps and we're getting to it. Well, you trade your Subi for the, the Bozo, the truth or dare. I'm not really playing truth or dare. Show my, um, do, 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 do. Hi from South Africa. I've been living in my vehicle for over five years and I promise you it gets rough again. I'm trying everything and I can, I can to get out, but I just can't seem to get ahead. Well, I wish you all the best, Jesse. Just keep, keep working at that. All right, so I'm gonna block this person. Hold on. I'm gonna block the bozo. Here we go. He's gone. Perfect. Let's see if it worked. Yes, it worked. All right. Uh, Loki, I, I, I don't know about you. I don't know about you. You might be next because I, I, it's just... I, I don't, yes, I am working today, Chris. I am. I worked earlier today. I worked before this live and I will be working after it. Mm-hmm. Do you know TX2? Never heard of him. Why are you really nine? I don't know. Are you, are you talking about my age, my inner age, my inner age? I don't know. Nine and 10, best years of my life. Maybe I'm still there in my mind, partially. Do you ever drive out of state for pleasure? Not, not usually, no. But I would imagine that I will. I just like to be in my area. I like to be close to my kid and I like to just work in this area. But all that could change, you know what I'm saying? All that could change. Hello from Ukraine. What's going on over there? Sergi X says hi. Cindy, his favorite Sammy is Jersey Mike's roast beef French dip with provolone. Oh, Cindy knows what's up. All right, Loki, I, I just didn't really know what's going on with, with you. I saw some, I don't know, keep in mind, I'm trying to read all the comments. I saw some repetitive comments from you. So I didn't know if you were a bot. So nothing personal. I'm just trying to look around. Daphine says, I love your channel. Thanks, Daphine. Joey, what's going on? Got to go, Brand. This was a good chat. Thank you so much, Pamela. Take it easy. Trinia, you swear. Yeah, I swear sometimes. Just a suggestion for live chat. Instead of reading questions, of um, how about picking a topic to chat about? That's a great idea. That is a great idea. You know, I thought that was the purpose of a live, was to read the questions and engage with the people, right? And um, I'm learning, I'm learning. I mean, I know that some people just really, like when I watch people do lives, let me, let me give you an example. Timothy Ward, he does lives all the time. So I'll jump on his live and I'll leave a comment or a super chat or something like that. And he will usually read, he reads everything. So I'm kind of just going off of what he does because it, when it comes to lives, he's like the guy, you know what I mean? So I, I watch how he does it. But again, I don't watch all of his lives because they're extremely long. So maybe he does a combination of both. He does read the comments and then also um, talk about a topic. So I'm going to finish up this live. We still have 25 minutes left. I'm a man of my word. I said 90 minutes. We're gonna go. For, we're gonna go all ninety, and uh, I'm gonna finish it up as I usually would, and then we'll see if I can change it. Uh, maybe I'll change it next week or something like that. I'll kind of just speak. But I also have to read the questions because you guys give me things to talk about. Do you have plans on moving into a house or an apartment in the foreseeable future? I answered that. Yes. Please, I want to talk to you. Are you my friend? Right. You, you guys are all talking right now. Bren, I posted, but my network went away. I was saying we love and appreciate you from South Africa. Thank you.
did you give your cooker a try? Was that the issue? I'm gonna try it. Um, I'm gonna try it in a couple of days because I'll be in a hotel room for a couple of days. I'll try it in there. I'll try to cook up some mac and cheese pasta or something like that. The po the political pulse. What's going on? What happened with the jackery? It just it seemed to have fused out. It fused out because I I plugged um, a high wattage device into it. Some weird people over here. Will you ever go live and do deliveries? I can't do that. I would need two phones to do that. I only have one phone. Hello, Bren. Happy Sunday. Keep going. Jeffy, what's going on? Okay, so... Hi, man. Greetings from Russia. What do you think about Ed Sheeran's music? Just curious. Um... I feel indifferent to Ed Sheeran's music. You know? Braille Brazen. Peace from New Jersey brand. I was wondering what's your size in tees. I have a brand and I'd love to send you a tee. Um, Braille, I'm a large. I'm a large. I love clothing brands. You know, I thought about getting my own. I, th I thought about starting up my own little clothing line with a positive message behind it. And I already have some ideas for it. And it's just fun really working. It's, it's fun to work on, on, on things like that. You know, it really is. I'm a large though. Hi, love that you're going live. Thanks, Daniel. I appreciate that. No, you have to put it on here. Happy says, have you ever tried celery with peanut butter? I think it's called ant legs. Um, I have tried it before. It's really good. I got to get some more peanut butter. Uh, do, 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 Big shout out to Lady, Lady D. Lynn. Have a meal on me and my hubby. I oh, appreciate you. Let me give you a heart. Much love and a like. Appreciate that. You get the chest bump. All right. I'm a new subscriber. I really admire how you came out of addiction and how productive you are. God bless. And God bless you too. Thank you so much. Daniel Williams says, I love that you're going live. You can say, hi, Gabby, and I will subscribe. Hi, Gabby. I have a full-time job in software development, and I loved when people thought I was homeless in my car. People were a lot nicer to me than they thought I was running away, not living in my car by choice. Interesting. Interesting. E.C. Busey's. Hello, Bren, and everyone. I'm from South Africa. What's going on? A lot of people from South Africa are here today. That's crazy. Cindy, Loki and Trinia need to get a private chat room or disengage. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. I might have to. I might have to toss them. Uh, Cindy, hey, Bren. I got a custom TMNT for you. What's your size? I'm a large. I'm a large. Um, I'm a large. BD says, hi, Bren, just joined the chat. Have a great week. I appreciate those of you who, who, who want to send me things like that. I really do. Um, and I, I'm not sure if you guys knew, but I stopped receiving mail for a while, uh, physical items and things like that. Uh, but if you somehow manage to find my address, you know, I will still remain grateful if, if mail comes through. I'm not going to be, like, upset or anything. I was just, I was trying to stop um, the influx because I was getting, I was getting about four packages a week at one point, which is crazy. And, um, you know, it's so thoughtful of you guys. It really is. Uh, but as a minimalist, it was starting to, you know, it was starting to become a bit much for me. So I, I, I made a request and, um, you know, but some of you just really want to send me things. If you do manage to find my address and you want to send me something, go ahead. Um, I just know that I appreciate it. And uh, yes, thank you so much. It's very kind of you. You guys are very, very kind. Very, very kind. Um, and if there's somebody out there watching this right now, like like somebody will send me something and it'll say from a friend and it'll be anonymous. And they want everything to, to remain anonymous. And if, if any of you are watching, I greatly appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. All right. I mean that. Uh, so Xavier screaming. 
Name a, uh, yep, we're gonna do this again. Okay, so most of this live is gonna be blocking people. Um, uh, Bryn, what's your t-shirts? Uh, yep, this guy already asked me that question a bunch of times. Now I'm starting to wonder if you're a troll. God is good, yes he is. I'm still near on Atwood Avenue. Atwood is close. <laughs> It'd be funny if you found me. Uh, well, good luck with the mid with the mid idol crisis. I gets better. Appreciate that, Pope. Um, Cindy, I have Trini. Unless it's a fake page. Oh shit! That's a massive B. That is a massive B right there. Just tried to come up uh, come up in here. Thing was huge. It was like a dinosaur with wings. What do you call them? Pterodactyls. That was a pterodactyl. Bren, I love your chats. I've uh, been living in South for five years. Just listening to you makes me feel like I am home in Mass. Keep up the, your hard work. Appreciate everybody there. Yes, just me. Is it true YouTube keeps 45% of money f from the money d donated to you? They keep 30%. 30%, not 45. So if you super chat me $10, all right, I will get seven of that dollars, uh, of those dollars, and they will keep uh, $3, all right? But that's why they call us partners. We're YouTube partners. So YouTube has an interest in our channel, and they will split the earnings with us, and that's how it goes. All right, what's going on, Lisa? All right, I'm going to move on down, guys. I'm moving on down. Wouldn't it be better with Patreon? That way you would get more. I've thought about Patreon, but I just don't really know how to set it up. And, like, things are going well for me right now, so I'm kind of just going to let that go. Um, like, everybody can come into this live. I thought about doing a members-only live, and um, that would mean that, you know, for a monthly cost, it could be as low as $2 or $3 a month or something like that. There could be different tiers that you could do, maybe three, six, and like members get certain features. Maybe I could give them access to short content. And uh, that way my short con content would become private. It would become members only. And I'm thinking to myself, I think I still want to keep my content to be public because that's how my channel has grown. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm not sure that doing a membership would, would, would be beneficial to me, but I think it would be, um, beneficial to me in the sense that if, if this was a members only chat, right, we would have less people in here and we would have, um, better quality conversations. There wouldn't be as many trolls jumping in. There wouldn't be as much ignorance. There would be, you know, less of that and more of kind of like actual conversation and, and, and talking and and there'd be much more like understanding and stuff like that. It kind of gets confusing sometimes when there's so many people in here and there's trolls jumping in and stuff like that and robots and all kinds of R2-D2s in here. You know what I'm saying? So I thought about members only. I thought about Patreon. I'm just not there yet. All right, I'm going to start. I, I So I just went all the way down and I'm going to start reading up a little bit. All right. Where am I at? Here is the last of my paycheck for a coffee. Thank you so much. Trust Jesus. Appreciate that. That's a Cumbies coffee right there. That's a Cumberland Farms coffee. From my analytics, 10 to 15% of viewers are YouTube bots. Yeah, that's crazy, isn't it? Completely understand and makes sense. Yeah. I dig your community and your etiquette. I appreciate that, Karen. Do, 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 do. I'd like to apply for troll remover. I attended Howard, Fine and Howard University. I have an MD in troll extraction and DVO Dasher. I mod in his live. Hit me up. Are you serious, Cindy? Is that serious? I didn't know if you're taking the piss. Have you considered doing memberships? Oh yeah, so I just, I just answered that one for you. I have, I, I think I might. It's not even necessarily for the money part of it. It's for the filtering part of it. I think memberships would filter a lot of people out. 
Because I would rather have, I would rather have 20,000 like loyal, good subscribers as opposed to like 50 or 100,000, you know, kind of, I don't really know why I'm here subscribers. You know what I mean? I would I'd rather have like quality over quantity. Do you know what I'm saying, guys? You know what I'm saying? Reading 15 minute old comments. So Joker says that. So here's the thing. You try doing it. You come over to my side and, and try to read all of these comments. See, people say things like that, like as if I have like, like 10 fucking pairs of eyes. Do you know what I mean? Sorry, the, sorry for the language. I helped a lady jump her, I helped a lady jump her car, dead battery. She kept insisting on taking me shopping or giving money. I kept telling her I was okay and I had a meeting to attend in my car online. She didn't believe me. <laughs> That's kind of funny. That's a funny story. She's like, come on, young man. Let me buy you a coffee. Ma'am, it's really nice of you, but I have a meeting to go to. Ma young man, I insist on getting you a coffee. Ma'am, it's an AA meeting, and if I don't attend, I could be on a bender any minute now. Young man, I'd like to buy you a coffee. I had a hornet come in my room today about the size of a pinky. Wow. You must be from Australia. I heard you guys got insane bugs down there. I'm curious, I'm curious, how do you pee in the middle of the night? Because sometimes we woke up in the middle of the night and feel that, right? Yeah, absolutely. I have containers for that. See, something as simple as this, when I'm done with the coffee, it'll become a container, and then I dispose of it appropriately the following day. You know? Small things. I hope you recover. Thanks, sports guy. Hi, I'm new here. What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm just talking to you guys. I'm just talking. You know? And if it's boring, you are free to leave. Please do. If, if, if you think it's boring and you don't get it, there's, there's a million other channels on YouTube. Probably millions. All right? Addiction is not easy. I feel your pain, fam. Thanks, brother. Appreciate that. Can of Club Chicago. I can redistribute stuff here to homeless people in Brockton. That's pretty cool. Keep up the good work. Keep it going. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, Yazaro, that's a cute little um, emoji that you added there. Big shout out to Paul Webby. Appreciate that, Paul. Let me Let me show you some love. Appreciate that. Absolutely. All right. Someone said get a P.O. box. I do have a UPS box. It's not a P.O. box. It's a UPS box, which is something better than a P.O. box. Name a car for an edit. Start. That person's gone. Guys, if, you, if, you, if you're making bot-like comments or repetitive comments, I'm just going to hit you with the blocker. That's all. Nothing personal. So I have gave you my number. What else do you want me to do? So I, I have gave you my number. What else do you want me? I don't know what that means. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not trusting this person. Bye. Sorry. I'm not trusting it. I'm going to be loose with that. I'm just going to start to tossing people. Um... Cindy says, in, in my opinion, you're both trolls or children. I don't know who Cindy's talking to. Okay. But people people will be, will be gone. Just don't be weird, man. That's all. I mean, it's quite simple. You know? So... I'm gonna wrap this live up. Uh, not right now, we still have five minutes. I'm just gonna talk for the next five minutes because there's just so many comments. 
I'm going to chat. I'm going to chat. I want to thank all of you watching this later. I'm sorry this wasn't the best live. I feel like I was distracted. I feel like I was, uh, I gave in to, to a couple of ignorant trolls early on. I need to work on that. I'm a human being. You know, people say ignorant stuff and it gets to me, you know. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. I will do better. I will do better. I promise you. But let's wrap, like, I'm going to turn it around here. I want to put out love into the world. I want to inspire you guys to get out today and get it your way. All right? Gig workers unite. Get your money. You are important. You have your own mission. Also, if you're working a 9 to 5, if you work at Mickey D's, get out there and hustle. Go into work with a good attitude. Put up with all the shit. Get that paycheck. You know what I mean? Keep your dreams in mind. You know, envision it envision it and um that place that you're trying to go to keep it close by print it out post it on your mirror in the morning when you're brushing your teeth what is it that you want is it a pair of sneakers is it a is it a new car is it a vacation like to put a picture is is it somewhere in jamaica that you want to go you want to go somewhere in the grill or something like that P put the photo right there and envision yourself sitting there i have visions I have my own visions of sitting in a new apartment, cooking a meal. Well, I won't be sitting down while I'm cooking the meal, but I will be cooking the meal. Or I'll be doing, <clears throat> I'll be doing laundry, and I'll yell, I'll be, I'll, I'll yell into my son's room and I say, "Hey, bud, you want a nice tea with that? Do you want, um, do you want this with that or something?" And he's going to respond to me. And we're going to be under the same roof, and we're just going to be chilling. We're going to be watching a movie together. We're going to go out for a walk. We're, we're going to do stuff together. I have visions of that. Living in, in a small place again with my son and I'm moving toward it, you know? And I have forgiven myself for not getting there fast enough. And I've forgiven myself for putting myself in a difficult position. You know what I'm saying? My decisions, my choices led me to where I'm at in my life right now, to, to where I had to move into my car. I understand that, but it is what it is. It's done. I'm working my way out of it, and and, and that's all I can do. So I want you guys to go out there and, and do your thing. Hustle hard. Stay focused on what it is that you're trying to achieve. Eat a roast beef sandwich. Eat something that you want to eat today. Look for the perfect slice of pizza. You know what I'm saying? Oh, by the way, I'm not reading comments anymore. I, like, I, I just glance down and, and, and I can see the trolls. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. And if a super chat comes in, it'll be highlighted and I will shout you out. Absolutely. Um, but I'm not going to bother with them. Um, so that's it. That's it. I said 90 minutes. We're going to go to 90 minutes. Also, do you know what's good? If you put peanut butter on a banana, it's good. And peanut butter is a good source of protein. So I'm gonna get the peanut butter with the peanuts in it, like the crunchy peanut butter, not the soft cream peanut butter. I want the peanut butter to have some texture. You know, but a spoonful of peanut butter, a spoonful of, excuse me, a spoonful of peanut butter is better than like a Snickers bar. Is better than like a cheeseburger from McDonald's, right? That's what I'm trying to avoid. Because it's just so easy to pull into McDonald's or pull into Taco Bell and get one hamburger and one taco. And my mentality is at that time is it's just a hamburger. It's just one of those small hamburgers. It's $2.89. Move on. No, those bad habits, they build up. They, they, they compound. All right, we're just about to wrap up this live and a super chat comes in right at the end from Icy Mike 420 first weekend living in my car to save money and found your videos. Thanks for your help. Keep fighting the good fight. Much love to you at the very end. 
at the very end. I appreciate you, Icy, Mike, and all the best on your car life journey. Folks, that's going to do it for this live. I appreciate you for tuning in. My apologies if it wasn't the smoothest live. Can't win them all, all right? I appreciate you guys, and I will see you later. Much love.